Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be getting the charger doors ready to put together. So what I'm gonna to have to do is I have the two rear door shells and they have all the hardware still on them. So the, the passenger side, this is the passenger side, is a good door shell. I'll probably end up either keeping that for another car or I'll end up just selling it as a really clean door shell. The driver's side obviously was a, the wreck side. So this door was kind of beat up and uh, it's not really, it's not really usable. It was a really good part store. The other one was as was as well, but I'm gonna pretty much just take all of this stuff off of this door. I'll also be able to sell these door glasses or keep them for spares um, for if I get like another charger or something and I need a door glass. But the, uh, the one thing that you really don't notice when you have a bare door shell is all of the just little random stuff that you need. So, um, you know, you have all these clips, all these screws, all these clips here. You also have these weather strippings and then you have these bump stops and it's just a lot of stuff. So for each door, if I had to buy all this just random hardware from Dodge, I think it'd be like 200 bucks a door or something. So it just gets kind of pricey, especially buying the little knick-knacky stuff from Dodge. Um, it's, it's just worth having. I'm really glad that I kept these doors and didn't sell them or throw them away and kept all the hardware. So what else I'm gonna be doing today is I'm gonna be getting the block ready, um, just kind of ready. So I need to take it and get it hot tanked. It is already stripped down. Um, I stripped it down after I got the, uh, pulled it out of the burnt track hawk. Everything I have seen on it looks really good. It doesn't look like there has been any damage from the fire. And I don't think there, I don't think I, there's any reason to worry. I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna end up using this block. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna end up building this or if I'm just gonna order an engine that's pre-built because it doesn't seem like it's, uh, because the cores on these are only like 1200 bucks. So you get like 1200 bucks for a core. To me, it's not really worth it, but I do have everything to put this back together. So I could clean it up. I have good pistons, I have a good crankshaft, I have good rods, um, you know, I have a good camshaft, I have good heads. So I could make a spare, just six two Hemi engine that I could just have sitting around if the one in my Hellcat does something weird or anything like that. So we'll get this cleaned up. I also have the six four over there. I'm gonna take that block too. Um, have both blocks hot tanked at the same time. It'll just be really easy, really simple. And we'll just have these nice and cleaned up instead of sitting here all grimy and greasy and you touch them, your hands get grimy and greasy. Another thing I like to do when I hot tank blocks or pretty much anything that has these galley plugs is I like to pull them out. The reason I do that is when, uh, when your, your engine's running or if it blows up or um, you're gonna rebuild an engine you don't know the previous history. It's a really good idea to pull those because it's like anything. So sediment builds up. Um, I've cleaned these things out after I hot tanked an engine and pretty much what you get out of them is very surprising. So I've you know cleaned them, engines that were perfectly running, bearing clearances were perfect and I built them and I cleaned those passages. You know, you get metal flakes sometimes, you get chunks of like, plastic or something, or maybe RTV from the factory, just all kinds of stuff. So it's a really good idea. You just use a gun pipe cleaner and you just, you know, swab it with some cleaner solution and it gets it nice and clean. And then you don't have to, you really don't have to worry about it, but it's just one of those things you're building something that's going to be pushing more horsepower, more oil pressure. And it's just a really good idea to do that. So this one's already stripped down. I think on the 6.4, I need to strip a few more things down, but uh, yeah, let's get some of this stuff ready. I'll throw these doors in my truck and uh, we'll head home and I'll drop these off on the way home. Loaded up all the interior pieces for the charger. And now what I'm gonna do is pull the brake lines, the front brake lines out of the Magnum. I did order these, if you guys remember, I ordered them new because the Magnum lines are a little bit different than the newer style lines. I think also the Hellcat lines or the V8 car lines are a little bit different size than the V6 cars. So these are Hellcat lines and that master cylinder and booster are from the scat pack. So I think that'll be fine. I'll have to check that out. Then I had to order a new ABS pump because mine was toast in the Hellcat. And then the Hellcat one took like way too long to get. So I robbed the one out of scat pack. So this is a Hellcat one. This is the module from the scat pack. I'm not sure if these can be reprogrammed. I'm not sure if they're VIN locked or not, but 
get all that stuff out. I, I'll probably pull this later because I have to pull this whole front piece off. Um, these back lines, I have a set of V6 back lines up there. Those don't matter. They're all the same. And uh, the reason I can't use these ones is because these are Magnum ones and I just modified them because the lines that go into the ABS pump are a little bit different. So I just use the Union. If you guys are swapping a Magnum, good to know information. It is in my other video. Um, also, I have a thing of windshield wiper linkage I'll take and I have that little crossbar right there. That one's gonna just stay black. I painted this one to match the engine bay, which I'll probably end up painting this car, that color, that the same color as my Hellcat. But uh, yeah, also I almost forgot, but we'll pull this and then I need to go over the tow yard because the tow yard has a Magnum with the quarter glasses and the back glass. So I'm gonna pull those three glasses because mine got messed up. Um, all my glass got messed up. I don't know what happened. Uh, it actually got messed up when it was at the junkyard, but uh, yeah, I need to find two rear 300C windows and two front charger door glasses. <laughs> start putting all of this stuff back into the charger and some of it I'm gonna need to clean up I mean actually a lot of it it's been sitting around for months and months the seals were at the body shop and so were some of these um, window regulator door um, I'm not exactly sure what to call those they're like the window regulator assembly slash like the piece that holds it in but I need to pretty much pick and choose because this one has primer on it, but I have spares. So I'm, I don't know, I'm gonna pretty much mix and match with that. The seals, I'm probably gonna have to order quite a few of them because, you know, I wasn't too careful with them, I guess, when I had them at the body shop. Same thing with the door glasses and the quarter glasses. Um, the reason why I had to pull quarter glasses today and the back glass and all the glass, I mean, I, I pretty much, I don't know what happened, but they just got super pitted and I guess I wasn't paying attention. I was, guess I wasn't paying as much of attention as I should have been. And uh, so now I have to order glasses, but um, yeah, we have the rear. I'm just using the SXT door cards for now. Um, I have a piece of SXT carpet. Um, I guess that really doesn't matter. I think that one is actually out of the Challenger. And then I have a bunch of miscellaneous trim back there. I have the Challenger center console the uh, guy took the the uh, bezel around it though unfortunately i don't know i told him that i was going to keep that but um i want to get a carbon fiber one anyway but yeah let's get all this stuff back in the car and i'm gonna have to pull all the hardware out of these back doors and i'm gonna have to pretty much just swap everything over and then i can start working once i get all that hardware swapped over i can work on getting these door panels swapped over as well and just kind of make make use a bunch of things to make good stuff for the car
I thought I was gonna get a little bit further on the charger, but I did get quite a bit done. So I have all the rear, the quarter glasses, the rear back glass, and I was going to have them glued in, but the guy that usually glues my glass in doesn't glue or doesn't do glass anymore. So we have the back glass sitting in there, core glasses sitting in there. There's a little bit of paint on all these glasses, so I will remove that paint before we get those put in. The back hatch needs to be aligned so I could glue, have that glued in as well because I made sure that everything was nice and flush when, uh, when I did all the body work and the sheet metal work. So I'm really happy that I have good glasses for the back, but now I need to find two rear 300C, I think it's 2011 up, door glasses, as well as the seals. So I probably should have paid more attention, but I primed over them. Um, I probably shouldn't have done that, but I need two 300C with the, the quarter glasses. That's the only way they come, uh, the seals. And then I need the door glasses. So it's quarter glasses, door glass, and then I need to, so I use the charger seal right here. I still need to align these doors a little bit better. They're pretty close, but they still need a little fine tuning, but uh, I need to figure out something right here for the seal. So for pretty much that area right there, I'm using the charger one all the way around to right here and then to about down right there. The, the front one is good. The good thing is I had one good seal. So the driver front door has the, uh, the window weather stripping. I also need the front door glasses for uh, I think 2015 up charger. So if you, if you know somebody that has them that wants to sell them or uh, you know, know of some that are for sale, I am looking. I also need the, the trim that goes here on the front and the rear doors on both sides and that's 2015 up charger as well. So quite a few things that I probably should have paid more attention to when I was, um, you know, when I was doing the body work and stuff like that. I really at the time wasn't thinking about the seals and when I did prime over these ones right here, I instantly, I was like, shit. So. Um, unfortunately, you know, it happens, but I was doing a lot, a lot of fabrication and, you know, I wasn't thinking about those at the time. Uh, the good thing is pretty much all the weather stripping on the inside of the door here, we got this whole back door ready and uh, I didn't put the, the, uh, window regulator or the door panel on because of that handle. I need to get that handle assembly. So if you know anybody that has the handle assembly for this uh, rear um, rear driver door, I need that as well. So you can see the seal right here where I have it cut. I need to just make something to go in there. You'll find another seal, maybe a 300C seal or something would work. Uh, I think I have that also have that piece from the 300C that's not primed because it wasn't on there. But uh, yeah, we have this seal in this seal in um, the seal down there as well as the bump stops and this door shuts really nice. Yeah, so I'm really happy how this came out. Just uh, need a quite, I need quite a few more parts. So I have been looking, actively searching for a track hawk, um, but the bad thing about it is I need one that's hit enough where it's, you know, not gonna bid up to like $60,000, but not wrecked enough so I could use all the stuff. So. Hopefully I can find one for around like 35 to like 40,000, which then I could get all of the suspension in here. And I actually am gonna get this thing driving. I have a secret. I'll get it driving in the next couple weeks, which I, uh, I was gonna get driving a little bit sooner, but I uh, had a bunch of other stuff that I was doing as well. So it's just one of those things where we're getting very close to it being able to drive and move under its own power. Um, also when I get it driving, I'm going to do all the bed liner on the bottom of the car to just add that additional layer of protection. I've been looking actively for a place to clear bra it. So there's just a lot of, a lot of moving parts that I'm trying to sort out. I still have luckily enough, um, like six months until SEMA. So we're, uh, we're not, at, I'm, I'm kind of like feeling the pressure a little bit because I need to get this done and you know, it's, 
it's close, but there's still a lot of stuff to do. But I'm gonna end the video here. We should make a lot more progress in the next video because I'll be able to, um, I'll order those parts. We'll get all the, you know, all the door, SXT door panels and all these regulators and everything in there and have glass in it. And then uh, we'll take it over the junkyard and start swapping in the new drivetrain so we can get everything um, ready to go and in nice and low so it doesn't look like a monster truck anymore. But that's the end of this video. If you like these videos, make sure to click the subscribe button, throw a thumbs up, throw a comment below. As always, see you guys next time.